breakdown today so I'm going to be cutting and coloring my hair I'm just kidding I'm not having a mental breakdown or anything I just need to cut my hair so previously I had orange hair and I just kind of washed it out just to make the color fade so this is the result of it fading out on the top I just did more of a like a bleach wash or breaking the base I just wanted to strip that color out and just have a fresh base to start off with. I'm gonna cut my hair and I'm going to color my hair orange again. The haircut technique that I'm gonna be doing is going to be the same one that I did in January where I clip my hair and then I bend my arms back and just cut like straight lines. So let me go get started and I'll be right back when I'm all ready to go. To start off, I'm gonna just wet my hair down. I'm just gonna use my spray bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump my whole entire head here. I'm gonna wet it a lot more along the way. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle because I wear my hair in each direction. So I just find that it's better to just part it in the middle. Like if you are a person who um, doesn't have normal part and you just flip it either side like from the left side or the right side or the middle part it down the middle when you're gonna cut it but if you normally just wear your hair on the right side or vice versa on the left side part your hair to where you always part it and then cut from there but since I always change my part around I am going to just part it slightly down the middle it's not really center center but you know, it'll do. So now that I have it parted down the middle, don't worry, I'm gonna spray my hair down a little bit more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just section the front part of my hair because I'm gonna leave that to last. So I'm just gonna take it from about the top of my head here, which is our apex, right in the center. And I am going to just bring that down until I reach the top of my ear right here. And then I'm going to flip that away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tail comb actually and I'm going to leave a small section of hair underneath. I'm going to clip that up and just to make sure I'm going to double check in the mirror. So that's a good enough section to start off with. So I'm going to go and spray that down. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm gonna bring down more section. I feel like it's way too thin and the clip is not holding it. So I'm just gonna take down a little bit more. Yeah, I think that should be good. Let's spray this down. So don't mind my facial expressions. You guys always get after me with these weird expressions that I have on my face. But this is like my focus face if I'm not smiling. I'm just focusing. Now that I have it wet down, I'm gonna grab my clips again. Can you see what I'm doing? Bring it down here. I feel like I want to go short. Yeah, that's how short it is. So I want to get it as even as I can, especially for doing it myself. So now I'm ready to get started with the cut. A lot of you guys have been asking me what scissors I use. So I use these scissors over here. These are the Casho, Casho scissors. There, um, I'm not exactly sure how much these are, but these ones came in my hair cutting kit from school. So when I started my hairstyling program, they obviously give us a kit because that's included in our like whole program tuition and everything. So I got like a bunch of scissors, not a bunch of scissors, we'll talk about scissors. And I got thinning shears and then there's also a straight blade razor in there as well. These are These ones are more of the professional kinds more of the expensive kinds. So if you are wanting something similar to this, in my description box down below, I have, I put like a few links in my Amazon link where you guys can check out the different sets that you can buy, which is a lot more affordable than these. And it will still do the job, especially if you're just doing it for yourself. You don't need to spend like hundreds and thousands of dollars on a good pair of shears. And yes, really good hair cutting shears are thousand dollars plus. All right, so let's cut my hair. 
so here goes. Okay, so before I bring on the next layer, I'm gonna clean up these little straggly pieces here. So what I'm gonna do, that's when I'm going to project my head forward. So when you have your head straight up like this, I'm gonna be talking to you guys like this. When you have your head straight up like this, it kind of looks, you know, even, but then when you tilt your head down, you are going to see more of the longer pieces. So as I have my head tilted, I'm just gonna go in and clean up the ends. So I'm gonna bring the next section down. So from here on out, I'm just gonna go ahead and just share with you guys what I did because it's basically the same exact thing that I did in my other video. So this is just gonna be more of a fast forwarded video here. So I finished cutting the back of my hair. So that's what it's looking at, like right now. Pretty even to me. So now I'm gonna go and work with the sides. What I'm gonna do first for the sides is I'm gonna take a section like this. I'm kind of going like a diagonal forward section. So it's not like a straight section like this, I'm taking it this way. Why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be cutting my hair in a diagonal forward kind of fashion. So I find that it's a lot better to just section it in the way I'm cutting it. So I'm going to be cutting it this way as opposed to cutting it straight. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. I'm just taking a bit of the back and I'm putting it together like this. So I'm just taking my fingers, pinching it, and I'm angling my fingers in a downward angle. First, what you wanna do, the way you want it, is brush it down to how you like it. It has to be like a natural fall. So have it brush down in natural fall. Try to get your fingers together. I mean, even if you wanna take a smaller section first, I'm gonna take my hair, natural fall with the rest of the hair that I previously cut earlier and then a slight angle and then I'm going to cut downwards so I will have more of a diagonal cut and then I'm going to take that other part of that section and I'm going to connect that all together so I'm going to spray it down a little bit more Find where the last guide was, right over there, and bring the front part a little bit more, slightly angle it downwards. Find that guide and cut. Watch your fingers when you do that. So now I have a slight diagonal forward. And I'm gonna go repeat the same thing on the other side to make sure that both sides are even. And then after that, I'm just gonna bring each layer down, small section at a time, and I'm going to find the guide and make sure to cut it at the length of the this guide. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so I am back and my hair is cut. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add some layers on my hair just so that it doesn't look so heavy. I'm going to do layers and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna go back and texturize it. It's better to texturize the hair when your hair is dry so that you can see how the hair is laying. A slight bit blunt, so I'm going to bring the layers up a little shorter. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a small section of hair from the back here. This is how I cut my layers. So I'm going to take about a section like this. I'm going to bring it down to find where I want to cut my layer. So I want my layer to be a little longer. So maybe right here. So where you see my finger, my snapping finger, it's going to be here. So what I'm going to do to cut it, I'll keep my finger there. 
and then I'm gonna bring it straight up. So I'll switch hands. I'm not gonna straighten this part out. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is like this. And then I'm going to snip that. But when I snip it, I'm just going to smooth this out. I'm gonna keep my fingers pinched. I might switch it to this finger right there. I'm going to point cut that. So I don't want blunt layers. Like that. Okay, so after I cut that, I'm gonna take that guide cut my layers straight up. This is called increase layers. So that's the easier way of cutting your own layers at home. So I'm gonna take that guide that I have there and then I'm going to point cut into that. Careful not to cut your fingers. Forward as well, It'd be easier for me. Like cut into it a little bit more. So I'm gonna keep bringing hair up and cutting to that guide. So the more hair that you bring up, the shorter amount of hair you are going to cut. It's gonna pull straight up. And since my hair is short, you can see that I don't have that much hair to cut off here anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish layering my hair and I will be right back. I just went ahead and I blow dried my hair and I straightened it out. So I'm not actually done with the cut yet. I just wanted to see what it looks like um, before I proceed. So I told you after I cut it and do the layers, I usually do the texturizing when my hair is dry. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys what my hair looks like right now after giving it a blow dry and smoothing out with a straightener. When I blow dry my hair, I just kind of use a little round brush just to kind of get that shape going on, just to see what I need to fix. So this is what it looks like in the front. I kind of like it short. I feel like I could have went shorter now. No. Now this is the side view. I'm gonna take my mirror with me because I want to see what I'm looking at as well. So this is what it looks like from the side. And then here's the back. Got a little bit of layers going on and then here on the other side as well. What I'm gonna do, as you guys can see, it's fairly thick here, like it looks too chunky. Considering my hair is thin, I don't like the way it's sitting, how it's so bulky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna texturize the ends of my hair by doing it in layers or like sections again. It's always about sectioning. Sectioning your hair is the best way to get a good haircut as opposed to just cutting it straight because you're not gonna get any good movements when you just cut it straight. So again, I'm gonna just leave this front section um, till the end. I'm just gonna take, so I'm gonna take too little of a section, just a good amount. See, as you guys can see, it's thick and I know a lot of you guys probably experience that. So this is when your texturizing shears come in handy. So these ones here, the little teeth on the blade, I probably can go this way. So if I take my hair like this, yeah, it'll work this way. Take your hair and then point cut it. Like that. that way it'll sit better. You see how that flips out there? I don't like that. So I will take another section and, and kind of hold it vertically like this. So what I did was I took this piece and I'm gonna take my fingers, bring it out that way. I'm going to position my hand. It's like, this is weird ergonomics. It's not the best way to do it, but if you're doing your hair by yourself, this is the way you can. Um, I'm holding it this way. Get my fingers in there and then get your fingers and point cut. And then I'll take another section here and then I'll probably move this way. All right, so you see this looks bad. So we'll take another section like that. I'll brush it out this way. And then before I take my texturizing shears, I'm gonna actually cut that. So I'm gonna point cut into it. Basically, I'm just gonna do that throughout the whole 
section as I bring down, I'm going to just texturize it with my shears until it just sits nicely beveled, kind of like curved into my, my neck. With each layer, I'm just going to keep texturizing the ends until I get all that bulkiness out and it just sits nice and tapered into my neck. Pretty much done with my cut for today. I'm just looking at everything all together and I feel like it's looking kind of the way I wanted to. So I didn't really touch anything at the front. I just tapered a little bit of the ends here, but since it's thinner on the front, I didn't really touch it too much. So now I'm gonna show you guys what the back looks like. So do you guys see how it's more curved and tapered here at the ends? So that is all the work of just point cutting and texturizing it. So I'm liking how everything is looking here. So far, you know, it's looking kind of decent. So I got my layers and I just kind of texturized it so you guys can see how I have a lot more texture, more movement on my hair and it's just not like some straight edge. Kind of like how it just kind of sits and it tapers down. So that's what I did. I just texturized the ends here then on this side as well. It just has like volume and it just kind of tapers in. So it kind of makes it look like my hair is thicker. But you guys can see the little diagonal forward here. <sighs> I'm happy with my cut. So now let's go color my hair. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be coloring my hair orange. So the product that I'm going to be using is this one here. This one is by Schwarzkopf. This is the Igora Color Works Direct Dye. So you don't need to mix any developer or anything like that, like peroxide, it's just straight out of the tube. This I actually purchased at Cosmoprof and you need to be a licensed professional or a cosmetology student in order to get some from there. But I'm gonna see if there is anything like this that you can find online and if it works out on my hair and it turns out the way I want it, then I'll post a link in my description box. So I'm just gonna squeeze everything into this bowl and then get my hair sectioned out and start coloring my hair. I hope it turns out like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clip it out of the way like that. And then I'm gonna work with applying the dye on this part of my hair first. It's dark. Is this orange? So what it's looking like. It's like turning color. Some orange going on here. So I'm gonna mix that with my Framar brush. So I'm gonna go. I got my gloves. I don't have any latex gloves at all anymore since you know this pandemic is all over. There's no gloves, so I just have these dishwashing gloves. So whatever, gloves are gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair. So the hair dye is all in my hair. I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes. And when I come back, I'm gonna cross my fingers that it turned out the way I want. I mean, look at my hands. They're very orange, or my gloves, whatever. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's gonna be the orange that I want. So I'll catch you guys back when everything is washed out and my hair is styled. Hey guys, so this is my hair. Oh my God. I am so happy. This is the orange that I've been wanting since I wanted orange hair. So this is the third time that I tried orange and I finally have the color that I want. I mean, it's sad that I can't even go out to show it off, but you guys can see it here through social media and my Instagram and YouTube, so I'm happy. Either way, I'm so happy. So I will definitely try to find a link where you can possibly buy the Schwarzkopf um, Igora Direct Dye. I forgot what it's called. Igora Color Works Direct 
guys. If I do find an online, I, online, I definitely will post a link down below because I love this color so, so much. Aside from the color, the cut too as well, I feel so fresh and I'm super happy. I mean, my hair grows so fast ever since I've been cutting it. I just feel like it grows so fast. So I'm not even mad that I cut it and plus, you know, like, where am I gonna go, right? Eventually, don't. I will end up touching up my roots, but I'm not gonna be worrying about that right now. I just wanted to try out this color because it's the color that I've been wanting. So I'm gonna give you guys a spin around so you guys can see what it looks like. This is the side, what it looks like there. And then here's the back. That is what my hair turned out to look like today. So I'm super happy. I will always be cutting my own hair. Although it took me probably altogether three hours to do my hair. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So what do you guys think? Like, I know some of you guys might think like, oh, the orange is not you, purple is better, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to try it out. And you know, like I got nothing to lose because again, I'm just gonna be stuck at home anyways. So at least I got the color that I wanted and I'm super, super happy. I might come back and do another video on curling this new short hair of mine, this new short orange hair of mine, you know, because I got some new things going on. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't even contain myself. So that is it for this video. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think I pulled it off? Did I do another great job with this DIY haircut and DIY hair color? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also check me out on Instagram. It is Sherry Anninwebo and Glam Star Artistry. I'm also kind of on TikTok right now. Not really posting a lot, but I have a couple videos on there. So if you want to check it out, it's Sherry Dawn. And again, with any products or any tools or anything that I use, I will have them in my Amazon link in my description box. Definitely check it out. If you guys have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment or DM me or email me. I have it all down in my description. Everything that I feel like I need to put there is on my description box. Subscribe to my uh, family channel as well. We're starting to post a little bit more videos here since you have more time during this whole quarantine. So check out my family channel. It is fantastic five. And that is about it. I will see all of you lovely people in my next video. Bye!